In the addition of halogens to double bonds, here is an example of the bromination of cyclohexene. The product of this reaction is trans 1,2-dibromocyclohexane. Notice that the two bromo groups are added on opposite sides. The chair structure also shows the addition of the bromine atoms on opposite sides. This is also called anti-addition. The next slide shows the mechanism. In the mechanism for the bromination of the cyclohexene, the cyclohexene is the nucleophile and the bromine is the electrophile. The first curved arrow begins at the nucleophile and points at a bromine atom. This then causes a heterolytic bond cleavage between two Br atoms. Notice that the second curved arrow begins at the bond and points at the other Br atom, resulting in a bromide ion. Simultaneously, a third curved arrow in red from a lone pair on the first Br atom attacks the cyclohexyl carbocation as it forms. This produces a bromonium ion intermediate. This whole flow of electrons occurs in a concerted process. The ring closure to the imaginary carbocation is fast. Because the Br atom is seen on the top of the cyclohexyl carbocation, ring closure occurs from the top to produce the bromonium ion. The mechanism continues on the next slide. The last steps in the mechanism involves a nucleophilic attack of the bromide ion onto the backside of the bromonium ion. This is seen by the first arrow that starts at the lone pair of the bromide ion as it stretches and the arrowhead points at the carbon of the cyclohexyl bromonium ion to form a bond. This is immediately followed by the ring opening at the front side of the ring to produce the anti-addition product trans-1,2-dibromocyclohexane.